Hi guys, Dhanesh here and in this lesson I am going to share with you something that really transformed my lead guitar playing in a short time. But most importantly, it has always been a lot of fun to practice. So no matter what level you are at or what genre you play, if you practice this, I promise you, you will see faster results and at the same time you will enjoy your practice sessions. But before we go there, here are your 10 seconds to subscribe to the channel. When you come back, I'm going to teach you this awesome way of developing multiple areas of your lead guitar playing while having tons of fun. When I got started with lead playing, I used to struggle a lot with my guitar technique and I used to wonder what's wrong with my fingers, why aren't they moving the way they are supposed to. Why is it so slow? I used to struggle a lot with slow practice, but I didn't see any results at all. One thing that really changed all that was practicing various kinds of two string drills. So what are two string drills? These are simple patterns or sequences of notes that you play across two adjacent strings. It could be a scale shape or a melodic sequence that highlights the sound of a particular scale. It could be played with two notes per string scale shapes or three notes. Today's example is going to be from three notes per string scale shapes. But before we learn today's drill, here are three essential components of these two string drills that you need to be aware of. Number one, they should be challenging for your fingers as well as your brain. Number two, they should help you target multiple areas of your guitar technique and help you challenge and improve them. And number three, most important, they should be musically useful. Now today's two string drill that I'm going to teach you is based around three notes per string scale shape. But the prime focus of this drill is to help you improve on something that most people struggle with in the beginning. And that is something called as inside picking. So what is inside picking? Inside picking is this technique where you have to pick a note on a particular string and then you have to go over a certain string before you pick the next note on the adjacent string. Something like this. You see how after I pick this note here, I have to cross this string and then pick the next note on the adjacent string here. So today's drill will consist of multiple places where you'll have to do inside picking. So this will help you improve your inside picking quickly. Other than improving your inside picking, today's drill is also going to help you with two more things. One, challenge your two hand synchronization. Two, improve your overall picking skills. And by the end of the video, I'll also show you how to make these drills musically useful. So today's two string drill is a 12 note pattern and we'll play it in the key of A minor. Once you learn the drill, you can practically take it anywhere, transpose it to different keys play in it across the fretboard and play in different positions and practice it with your three notes per string scale shapes. I am doing it on the top two strings on string number two and one and the drill is quite simple. Let's take this position of our A minor scale. So my index finger is on the 10th fret, my ring finger will cover the 12th fret and my pinky finger will cover the 13th fret. So we have this shape here on the second string. Once you know these basic shapes, now is the time for us to learn our 12 note pattern. So we'll start on the last note of this shape and we'll play a pattern that goes something like this. So we are playing 13th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret and first time we do our inside picking on the 13th fret here then we play the 10th fret again on the next string then 12th fret on the second string and then 13th fret on second string 10th fret on the second string and we finish the pattern by going up So 
So that's the pattern that you need to practice. Once you have learned the pattern in one position and practiced it for a while, got it underneath your fingers, then take it to other positions of the scale. So let's take it to the next position starting on 12th fret. So here we'll play the notes 12, 13, 15 on the second string and 12, 13, 15 on the first string also. And then we'll apply the same sequence, same pattern of notes here. Then the next position where you'll play 12, 15, 17, 12, 15, 17 on both strings and you'll play the same sequence there. You don't need to restrict yourself to these three positions. You can take it across the whole scale shape and practice it on these two strings or any other string sets. Just bear in mind between third string and second string, the shapes are going to change. Otherwise, any two adjacent string sets, you're going to have pretty much the same shapes for the scale, starting in different places, obviously. Here are some tips to make this two string drill more musically useful. You can create a longer line by connecting these different positions and playing them in an alternate sequence or any other sequence that you like. For example, let's play this first. You can skip the next position and go to the one after that. Then you can come back to the previous position. You can create a musical pattern like what I created in the beginning. So you can play this position here. Then go to the next position. Then the next one. And then come back to the previous position. You can either do that or create your own sequences. Here's another idea to make them sound musical. So you know that it's a 12 note pattern, so you can play them as a grouping of six notes or you can play it on top of a groove that's in four. So that will make it sound more polyrhythmic, something like this. So there it is. I hope you have fun learning that. Here are some tips on how you can practice these two string drills. So pick one position, get the drill underneath your fingers, learn it first, and then slowly try to build up some speed with that. Then learn it in different positions and then try to connect them together. Sequence these positions one after the other or in any other order to come up with some musical sounding lines or use them as scale runs during your improvisation. Make sure when you're doing these drills, you focus on both your fretting hand as well as picking hand. That will help you to improve both at the same time. So have fun practicing that. Please subscribe to the channel. Vanesh here again and I'll see you in the next lesson.